So let's talk scientifically about why you may be producing a little more gas than you would normally expect. Well, let's start with one major culprit. Beans, beans, the beans. magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. <laughs> They're really good for you, but loaded with fiber and bacteria. Love to eat that once it gets down to your colon and produce that uh, horrific smell that some of us associate with beans. But this is... Yeah, beans expected. we know about, but how about chewing gum? You wouldn't yeah. think so, but a couple of things going on with chewing gum. Number one, artificial sweeteners. But the other thing, while you're chomping away, you're probably swallowing a lot of air. What does that translate as? It's gonna come out the other way. Dairy is another big one. You know, some people just have a hard time digesting the sugars in milk products and other dairy. Cheese, yogurt, things like that. And what normally, no, normally happens that those sugars get digested in the small intestine. But in some people, it passes through the small intestine to lar the large intestine where that bacteria that normally lives there ferments that sugar and you get the gas. And that's when someone screams, who ate the cheese? <laughs> yeah. All what right. do we have here, Dr. Lisa? This is something you guys should learn to take, but ladies, think pink, think grapefruit. This actually acts like a probiotic and can help with the digestion and the fermentation, so this can actually help. Oh. So, so I, I gotta eat more grapefruit. <laughs> yeah. I thought this was just, if you're having one of those gassy days, you just drench yourself in grapefruit <laughs> and it masks the smell. That's not <laughs> what it does. Well, it might give them a... Help a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, give them a nicer smell. Right.